The hardest part of becoming independent is leaving home. The emperor penguin chicks are about to take the biggest step in their young lives. Left alone by their once doting parents, they must leave their icy birthplace and make their way to the sea. Every test they face hones skills they'll need later in life. But one challenge stops them in their tracks. A giant petrel. They try to flee, but running isn't an emperor's strong point. A slip is all the petrol needs. The chick is grabbed by his neck feathers, but the down just falls away. They form a defensive circle and prepare to stand their ground. Despite their chick-like appearance, they are close to a metre tall. Quite a size, even for a giant petrel. The chick towers to full height, protecting those behind. His defiance buys time. It's a standoff. Then, as if from nowhere, an Adeli, the feistiest penguin in the world. He fearlessly puts himself between the chicks and the petrol. Even petrels don't mess with Adelis. Lucky rescuer accompanies the chicks to the sea. Emperor Cam is there to see them on their way. But entering the water is a daunting prospect. Having an adult around must be reassuring even if it is a spy. The Adeli seems to be waiting for something too. Another penguin cam is also ready to see them go. Instead, other penguins start to arrive. More Adelis. Their rescuer was just the front runner. For some, it's time to retreat. But now, it's back to square one. There's no alternative but to run the gauntlet once again.
The seal seems to be toying with this penguin. But safety is in sight. The ice flow is near the open ocean. But this penguin is exhausted. Wild hamsters are found in grasslands throughout Central Europe. Here in the city, they're doing extremely well. This male is on a mission to find food. The coast looks clear. But best not take any chances. The trick is to get in and out before you're caught. Now, dessert. Candle wax. It's full of oil and high in calories. Hamster's cheeks can hold a quarter of its body weight. Just one more mouthful. Cheeks and narrow bottlenecks how very embarrassing. Mission accomplished. He clears a space in the forest to serve as his concert platform. <whistles> to 
To persuade females to come close and admire his plumes, he sings the most complex song he can manage. And he does that by copying the songs of all the other birds he hears around him, such as the kookaburra. It's a very convincing impersonation. Even the original is fooled. He can imitate the calls of at least 20 different species. He also, in his attempt to outsing his rivals, incorporates other sounds that he hears in the forest. That was a camera shutter. And again. And now a camera with a motor drive. And that's a car alarm. And now the sounds of foresters and their chainsaws working nearby. Crabs use abandoned seashells as mobile homes. As a crab grows, its shell becomes an ever tighter fit. So eventually, a crab needs to move in to a bigger one. Suitable empty shells are few and far between. And this one is far too spacious for this crab. But instead of continuing its search, this small crab settles down to wait. Other crabs, also looking to upgrade to a bigger home, soon gather whenever a shell washes ashore. Unfortunately, the new shell is too big for them, too. Despite that, the gathering crabs begin to measure each other up, and then they do something really rather extraordinary. They arrange themselves into an orderly queue. The biggest at the front, smallest at the back. They're lining up with one aim, to exchange properties. But none of the crabs can make a move because the chain is not yet complete. They're all waiting for the right-sized crab to come along. And this is it. The latest arrival pushes to the head of the queue. At first, the chain falls apart. As it reforms, the small crab finally makes its move and takes its place at the end of the line. After a close inspection, the big crab moves in. This triggers a chain reaction. Each crab hurriedly moves into the shell vacated by the crab ahead of it in the line. Just as the small crab attempts to move into its new home, a fresh arrival muscles in.
To be left without a shell is a death sentence. A naked crab will quickly cook under the intense tropical sun. But after all the swapping, there is still one shell left. Sadly, it's no bigger than this small crab's original shell. And worse, it's got a hole in it. But even a bad shell is better than being homeless. Mantids will eat anything that moves, including other mantids. This tiny insect is now open to attack from predators lurking in the undergrowth. Whether an individual mantis survives or not is partly a matter of chance. Whether it's spotted by a predator Whether it turns right or left. So far, its luck has held. But this hungry jumping spider is still in pursuit. A mantis is born with exceptional eyesight but the spider's is even better. Although this young mantis can't yet fly, its long forelegs, evolved to catch prey, give it reach. seems to be no escape. But this mantis has a surprising line in self-defense. Kung Fu, praying mantis style. Of course, it's all bluff, trying to look bigger and confuse its enemy. But it's got away with it. Just staying alive for its first few hours is a significant accomplishment for a newly hatched insect. But there's still a long way to go. With a bit of luck, in two months' time, it will be as big and beautiful as this orchid mantid. Or maybe not. After all, mantids are cannibals. As more birds arrive, competition for the best nesting sites heats up. It's 
thirsty work. In the sudden commotion, they're vulnerable from below and above. place to be is inside a burrow. But an eagle flyby sends shockwaves of panic through the colony. A snake's eyes aren't very good, but they can detect movement. So if the hatchling keeps its nerve, it may just avoid detection.
near miraculous escape. As they mature, young males begin to explore the boundaries of the pride's territory. Red has ventured out alone. straight into the middle of the hyena clam. <laughs> He's trapped by over 20 of them. This number of hyenas could kill him. It's impossible to fight them all at once. He can't keep them at bay for much longer. He's tiring fast. His ally, Tartu, has heard the commotion. <laughs> now the odds have changed. for 20 hyenas. A pair of male lions is too much to take on. Red is lucky. <laughs> <laughs> 